welcome to Scrapping with Sherry. A couple of weeks ago, I did a segment on using a punch a different way. And another idea came about based on some ideas I had seen from other people. And I just took that and kind of ran with it. But I was looking for a way to make um, a pumpkin. And I actually wanted to use some checkered paper to match this little pumpkin on my granddaughter's outfit. And I couldn't find any in my stash. I wanted to get the pages done. So I pulled out some oldies but goodies. One of those was this basket weave punch that I've had a long time. I pulled it out and cut the basket weave in the black here. Just put a white background behind that. And it kind of mimics this, even though it's not exactly the same. So I liked that, but I was also looking for something to make the pumpkin to kind of coordinate with what she had going on in her little outfit. And in doing that, I started playing with an idea that we had a long time ago where we used the oval cutting system to make pumpkins, but I used something a little different. So when life gives you lemons, why not make pumpkins? This little lemon actually made the cutest little pumpkin, and I wanted to show you how to do that just using some scraps I've got laying here. So to create my pumpkins, I used an orange dotted paper out of the Totally Tunnel Pumpkin Collection. I used a white paper that has little orange dots on it, and then I created two pieces using my basket weave again, the black basket weave onto white backgrounds. Now this is actually four little lemons, one, two, three, four, and then I fussy cut just a little orange background here just to set it off a little bit. So I wanna show you how that happened. And I'm just gonna cut a couple of these lemons. And then I am gonna go ahead and cut the white to be the background here. And I'm gonna turn this upside down so I can make sure I get it all in there. But I'm gonna cut a white one. A couple of those and then I'm gonna cut a seg a section of basket weave and you can see I'm using a scrap oval that I had that I glitched the corner of it so I'm not pulling out full entire brand new sheets of paper to do this I'm just trying to get a little bit of this shape on there and then I'm gonna go back with my lemon punch again and just punch that out. Now, I would like to say this is a really quick idea, but I would be lying to you if I said that because I don't think this is necessarily a quick idea, but I think it has a really nice look. So we've got this and this. That makes our little basket weave look on there. This one is not totally exact because I didn't cut it all exactly right, but it's gonna work for what we've got going on. And then we've got these two orange ones. So let me get my little mat. And I'm gonna go ahead and here this basket weave onto the white. And I'm going to cut off the little point at the bottom of this lemon because I really don't need that for my pumpkin. And I'm gonna cut off the top. And basically, I'm just left with an oval there. I'm gonna do the same on this one. And this is just giving me a, a print here. It's not really doing anything unique except giving me a printed section for my pumpkin which is what I wanted on that particular page because I was trying to mimic her little outfit. And then here again, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the top and the little lemon point on the bottom of that. And basically all I'm doing is making ovals out of these. Now you could use your oval cutting system, but I love the fact that with this little lemon punch, I can do it quickly and easily. And it's another use for the lemon if you don't have the cutting system, but you want to make this design. Now I've got a little glitch here, so I think I would rather cover that up. And then I can layer that and that. And here again, I'm just gonna add these together. I'm gonna kind of tilt this one in a little bit. I don't know if you can see that, 
but I want the top of my pumpkin to be a little smaller than the bottom edges. So I'm just adding a little of this repositionable tape on the side that's going underneath. And I'm tilting it in just a little, but you can see how it starts to give me that design look. And then I'm tilting this one in. And I've made my pumpkin. Now all I need to do, I had this piece of um, a journaling card and I'm just gonna use that and cut a stem. And you can make a big fat stem. You can make a little skinny stem. I'm gonna run some tape runner right across that and stick my pumpkin onto that stem. And then my last step in finishing my pumpkin will just be to add a couple of leaves on top. For that, I'm using this Leaf Trio Punch. Here again, this is a really old punch, but I like the different leaves on it. I will tell you, if you don't have it, there are lots of different punches Creative Memories has had that have leafy designs on them. This one is super hard to find. I would not encourage it unless you've just got tons of money and tons of time to look for it. Um, it's very rarely on the In Search Of sites, and if you find it on eBay or anything like that, it is a crazy price. So um, look for punches that you already have that have a leafy type design, or if you're kind of artistic, you could freehand this little leaf because there's not a whole lot to it. And I'm just gonna stick a leaf right there, and then I'm gonna stick the stem of this one inside that and just add some repo tape to the back of that. So I'm sticking this right inside there. Well, I say that, it's not going in as easily as I thought it might. And I've just got the two little leaves right there on the top. And that's really all I needed to do to make my little pumpkins. Now, let me get all the stuff out of the way so you can see the page layout one more time. And remember, this layout came about strictly because I wanted some checkered paper and I didn't have any and I wanted to go ahead and get my page done. Now, I did find a checked background. This is out of the Totally Tunnel Pumpkin Pack. <laughs> Start to say pumpkin patch. Totally Tunnel Pumpkin Pack. And it does have checks in it, which brings out this checkered look. And my four layered pumpkin was drawn from her shirt. Now, I could have added a little flower on top and who knows, at some point in time, I still might do that. But my pumpkin was four layers because of hers. What I did find is that when I laid my pumpkin down against this busy design, it faded away. And that's why I went back and added a couple of these um, black circles using the square punch, I mean, using the circle punch in order to make my pumpkin stand out a little bit more. But in just a couple of minutes, you can see I've already made another pumpkin. Now, with this one, I did notice that my sides were fading away, so I just fussy cut a little orange piece to go behind it to make that stand out. But how cute is that? So, when life gives you lemons, make pumpkins. I hope you enjoy that idea, and I hope you'll be looking for ways to use some of your old punches in a very new and unique way. Until next time, happy scrapping. Thank mm -hmm. you.